Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another fantastic spiffing beer review. Um, it's absolutely boiling, absolutely boiling. Um, really, really warm, and it's time for a beer. Off to S forty three yet again. You're thinking, oh god, they're thinking not S forty three again. Yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> We've got um a single hop variety IPA from a we got an El Dorado IPA uh, entitled Aliens Exist. Yes, they do. Um, have you seen some of the people who work at B&M? Fuck me. They don't come from this planet, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll sure I better cut that out. I'll be banned from B&M now. <laughs> I'll tell you what's in this anyway. El Dorado, El Dorado Cryo, Marisota Oats, wheat, dextrin is the malt build. The yeast is the legendary now. It's legendary on this channel, so I keep saying it. London Ale 3. This was canned on April the 20th. About one and a half month ago. Best before November the 20th. Acquired from the bear and bottle in Coxon. I keep shouting them out. If you're in County Durham. On the A1, or if you're driving up to Scotland or Newcastle, just turn off, go and see the lads on the high street in Coxo, and pick up a few beers from them. So I'm going to just whack it in the glass like you do, and see what this is about. I've been meaning to do this beer for a few weeks now. Um, I've been informed that this could be their best release so far this year um i beg to differ i think the dank ipa for me was their best release this year but you look at that it looks absolutely gorgeous look at it just look at that pure gorgeousness aroma that aroma, oh my god, it smells gorgeous. Mango, tropical fruits, it's all there. Oh, grassy. Hay time. It smells phenomenal. It really does. Pine, it's not a hint of pine for me. It absolutely smells. Maybe a hint of peach. But very grassy. Very grassy. It smells gorgeous. Cheers. It's good. It's good. Is it as good as the Dank IPA? That one there, is it as good as that? That one there, blue one with the face, is it as good as that? It's close. Grassy, hay time even. It's silage, it's picking all that up. It, you just get it. Hint of tropicalness. There, peach, apricots are there. Mouthfeel. Pillowy soft. It's gorgeous. It, it is. It's an absolute banger. <laughs> um, I mean, the El Dorado hop for me has always been a hop, which it is is not overlooked by by a lot of breweries, but I don't see it enough in beers for me. Um, the S forty three. What I love about the single hop variety beers they've done, I've done the Mosaic one as well. It really does showcase what they can do with a single hop. And I'm always been a big fan of them because it shows the you know how diverse it can be, what they can achieve with a single hop. And this is definitely um a work of art when it comes to brewing with El Dorado. It's a work of art. It really is. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, going again. Oh. 
it's staggeringly good. And the more I'm drinking it, you get the fruit notes just starting to come out. Um, the grassy feel of the beers just dampens down a bit. But my word, it is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. It is. Um, I know how to, when, you know, when they're firing on all cylinders, S43 do come up with some fantastic stuff. This is one of, definitely one of their best beers for me this year. Definitely. I still prefer the Dank IPA. I think for me that Dank IPA was phenomenally good. But this is between this one and the Windersill Conspiracy. Them two beers, very similar because um, they're single hop variety beers. I think the, the mouthfeel for me is very similar between them two. What would I choose between them two? Big, big call for me. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Both very, very good beers. So this is absolute banging. Going again. One more for the road. I'm six minutes in, but it's a pure joy in a can. It really is. And I suppose with the El Dorado hop, it can be used in a lot of different hop additions to the brew as well um which does make it a bit of a bit of a star if you know what i mean um this beer is brilliant it's brilliant it is staggeringly good <sighs> that's the name of another brew in it it's staggeringly brilliant there you go it's brilliant it is fantastic it is one of my beers of the year definitely it's gonna go in that I have to find room for you in that cupboard boys and girls s43 aliens exist they certainly do but i'll tell you what that is a hell of a beer thank you very much for watching this beer review that's out of this world see all of you soon on another one cheers